Did you know that in-house family marriages, also known as intermarriages, were historically a common practice for some old money families? These traditions for old money families are more than just words. It's the bedrock of their personalities, etiquette, psychology, and more. On Old Money Aesthetic today, we'll look into the intriguing world of 10 secret traditions passed down through generations. From refined etiquette to exclusive clubs to intermarriages, get ready to uncover the unique life lifestyle and values that define the old money elite. So, let's peek behind the curtain and explore these intriguing traditions that have stood the test of time. Number 10. Classic Elegance Thanks to the old money aesthetic, emphasizing tradition and quality over fleeting trends is always cherished. This style isn't solely about fashion, but embodies unspoken rituals and rules that exude grace and style. A classic outfit steeped in history can instantly elevate one's status, much like the dignified Duke of Windsor got to experience. Mastering the old money look means having a refined appearance for any event and projecting an image as uncomplicated as you are. It also involves donning simple patterns, bespoke and custom attire, timeless accessories, and the finest material from quiet old money brands. Yet, achieving a completely confident look involves grooming as well. After all, it's hard to look cheek in attire while neglecting personal care. Old money families understand this, and that's why they ensure to maintain their best appearance from head to toe. Number 9. Philanthropy Many old money families amass great fortunes only to allocate a significant portion to charitable causes generously. Renowned old money figures like Carnegie and Rockefeller exemplify this tradition, channeling their wealth into philanthropic endeavors. For these esteemed families, generosity flows not as a transaction, but as an extension of their principles, that is, imperatively supporting less fortunate individuals. This legacy transcends generations, as the spirit of giving becomes an inherent value. Old money households are rooted in the belief that aiding society is their duty, and they are driven by a genuine affection for the causes they champion. Their contributions are understated and devoid of fanfare, which is a testament to their humanity in a quiet but impactful manner. They enrich society through discreet acts of charity, upholding their responsibility with sincere compassion. Number 8. Seasonal Fox Huntings in the past, wealthy families from Great Britain engaged in a historic practice known as fox hunting. This tradition, often associated with old money, was a way for these families to bond and socialize while preserving their heritage, and it was also known as one of the sports of the aristocracy. The practice continues through fox hunting clubs, sustaining a 500-year-old British tradition passed down among old money families. Their cherished uniforms and rituals contribute to the sport's charm. In the hunt, hounds guided by old money individuals pursue stags, hares, and especially foxes. The hound's keen sense of smell guides horseback riding hunters to the exhausted fox, signaling the hunt's end as the hounds close in. Supporters argue that the hunt upholds tradition and benefits farmers by protecting sheep. However, due to its harsh criticism and changes in the law, it's now rarely observed in modern times. Number 7. Refined Dinings Old money families are used to detailed rituals and protocols that are observed during exquisite multi-course meals. These dinners bring family and friends together to gather, converse, and reconnect. However, for guests and hosts alike, unspoken etiquettes are expected of you. Let's go over a few of them. Firstly, you can't be too early or late for a dinner party. Secondly, break your bread, butter it, and stuff it in your mouth. Don't use a knife. Knives don't belong on bread, according to customs from the Middle Ages. While doing all of this, be sure to use your bread plate rather than buttering your bread in the air. It has a function. And one last one, know your way around using cutlery. Don't attend a dinner event and hold the knife like a pen. You might just get uncomfortable looks. Number 6. Grand Estate Gatherings It's usually an old money tradition to gather annually in grand estates to socialize. Wealthy individuals from these families come together for lavish dinners and conversations. A well-known example is the Queen Charlotte Ball in the UK, where wealthy 17 to 18-year-old bachelorettes celebrate. A tradition spanning two centuries, the event seamlessly weaves together the art of dance, the delights of fine dining, and the nobility of charitable pursuits. Its origins back to King George III, who initiated 
created this grand spectacle in honor of his beloved wife, Queen Charlotte. Another prestigious occasion on this elite social calendar is the Royal Ascot, an event centered around the thrilling world of thoroughbred horse racing. Here, the affluent congregate not only to indulge in the excitement of the race, but also to partake in the spectacle of high fashion and refined entertainment. In these gatherings, the old money class reaffirms their bonds, showcasing the cultural legacy they uphold, all while indulging in the elegance and grace that characterizes their way of life. Number 5. Family Heirlooms Many of these families often possess valuable treasures to bequeath to their descendants. A family heirloom embodies a cherished item passed from a deceased relative. These heirlooms range from priceless antiques to everyday gifts, but their true value lies in their value, history, and meaning. These gifts symbolize the giver's enduring affection for the recipient, while allowing the recipient to hold onto precious memories, keeping their loved ones alive in their hearts. Treasured family heirlooms encompass various items such as furniture, jewelry, letters, and timepieces. That's why a distinct ceremony, the heirloom reception, is reserved for this purpose, typically presided over by the oldest family member. It involves passing an heirloom to the next generation. This poignant event represents a significant transition and a fresh beginning, echoing the enduring legacy of an old money lineage. Number 4. Enduring Prestige Old money families greatly prioritize values, chief among them being a profound reverence for education and intellectual pursuits. For these families, nurturing the minds of their progency is paramount. They meticulously ensure that their heirs receive the finest education, instilling a deep respect for learning. This prepares them to confidently assume positions of authority, standing at the pinnacle of societal hierarchy, armed with intellect. These young scions, destined for future roles in commerce, philanthropy, and governance, are meticulously groomed for the weighty responsibilities that lie ahead. Their lineage is a cherished tapestry, woven with the threads of tradition and refined etiquettes. Every action is a testament to their legacy, a means of preserving their esteemed stature. By nurturing their education, intellect, and social standing, these families aim to pass down their prestige and legacy through generations, maintaining their position with grace and sophistication. Number 3. Prudent Wealth Management Old money families have always been known for their frugal lifestyle. They never feel the need to spend their hard-earned money on needless things. They ensure their wealth is kept safe for their lineage and for it to remain in the family for as long as possible. As the new generations of the old money family are born, they inherit a fortune and investments from their heir. And as they grow up, they also try to keep it in their family to pass it on to their children. These families grasp the significance of foresight and frugality, values they hold dear across generations. Unlike the flashy habits of the Novo Riche, old money clans don't flaunt their fortunes. They keep their wealth under wraps, a strategy to avoid undue attention. They don't live for the gram, instead, they quietly build legacies that stand the test of time. Number 2. Sacred Bonds Family is the bedrock of old money. They do this all for their family. They put family in high regard and would always put them first in any case. There are roots in the value of family and marriage in the old family, and they have proved it to us over time. The concept of old money itself shows just how important the family is. Old money families value personal dignity, especially when the family's fortune is well known. Be sure that outsiders may try to take advantage of them using love and affection. So, they are wary of the public, especially when it comes to love. For someone with so much wealth, at some point, you begin to wonder if the love is really from a place of love or selfishness for one's money. That's why it's not in any way surprising to see old money families marrying themselves. Families like the Rothschilds and Guinness have married their cousins so that their wealth can remain in the family. It shows just how much the old money families can do to keep their wealth in their family. Number 1. Guarded Privacy the haves and have-nots still have unfinished business to this day. So, it is unwise to flaunt your wealth to the world. The old money takes pride in keeping their wealth a private affair. This does not mean they hide away from the world in solitude, although some old money families do just that. But it means they keep their business to themselves. They don't overshadow, which is one of the key things that make them so different to the Novo Riche. They strive to protect what they have and are one step towards that goal by living a private life. They have nothing to prove to the public at this point in their lives, so they don't see the need to boast about their wealth. You know it when you see them. Traditions keep us alive, and old money is a good example of that. 
Give us a like and subscribe for more captivating old money content. And I'll see you in the next video.